Welcome back, everybody. Shade Hunter here. Uh, joined again by Phantom. How's it going, Phantom? Hey, I'm good. I'm not. I just died. Yeah, but that's why I'm good and you're not. Yeah, literally. <clears throat> Shade Hunter 81 blew up. I spontaneously exploded. Yeah, it was, um, it, it was something. Oh, look, there's my death point on the map. <laughs> So, we're here for a reason, but let's take a little recap. So, Phantom and I were uh, wandering around getting everything hooked up and making sure everything was uh, functioning properly after some tests that we were doing. Um, Extreme Reactor working beautifully. Um, we have not had the generators kick on in a while. <coughs> well, except when I was messing with the crusher. Um, yeah, the crusher's full of stuff because I decided that it would be a smart idea to auto-export all the coal, diamonds, emeralds, redstone. Um, didn't make it to Lapis, though, thank God. So now we're just kind of letting this thing... I, I wiped all that stuff out of here. I'm letting this thing run and run and run and run and run. Because, yeah, it's got like 30,000 blocks in it. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's a crazy number. So we uh, we did some housekeeping. We tore tore all these things down, moved them down, moved them back a little bit, moved those back, uh, moved this guy back uh, by one. We, we wanted to get things a little bit neater and cleaner in here. And now it's actually looking like a factory. We've got all the presses made. Uh, we got the rod, the plate, the gear. Uh, we even have one on here. I think it's this one. Yeah, the shell casing, because I totally want to build a revolver. Um, <laughs> uh, I still have not automated the uh, arc furnace yet. Getting around to that. <laughs> we, we, we've been doing a lot of housekeeping. <clears throat> a um, lot of housekeeping. We've up here on this level, we had all kinds of redundant and not needed cabling. So we cleaned that, this up. Um haven't really done anything over here because we really haven't needed to. If you notice, this thing's empty um, because I've been... We, well, we don't need that big thing of biomass going over there anymore because he's not making the greenhouses. We had this huge mess over here uh, making nether wart, which we just threw everything in the system and said, screw it because, well, we're not using uh, nutrient distillation anymore. We had to expand this because his... Um, some of his B uh, things out here is, what are these, alvearies? Yeah, some of these alvearies require water, and they require a lot of water. And so we kept draining, like, breaking the uh, uh, infinite water source. So, yeah. And he's yeah, been... It was, it was constantly stressed because it was almost running out, and then it would fill up just in time to almost run out again, so... Yeah, it looks like your mo your modest bees here are t saying it's too humid and too cold. Right. I need to. Uh, that's why I need to pipe in the lava. Uh, oh, running okay. buckets is uh, inefficient. I I did it uh, to establish that I could achieve the conditions needed for them. Now, if I can pipe lava in, it'll maintain it. Okay. So yeah, we'll yeah. we'll just have to plop a pump down in the nether and we'll get that going. <clears throat> okay, I get it now. We got the forest. We've got the meadows. Okay, you got all kinds of them. Uh, yeah, here's every Lepreen. single one of these has a different, uh, different breed of bees. Oh, that's a swarmer. Uh, industrious, valiant. Yeah, we definitely gone haywire. Cultivated, uh, noble, majestic, uh, wintry. Wow, you, you managed to get it that cold, huh? I, I did. Oh. In fact, <laughs> notice the lake. <laughs> You're freezing the water. That's awesome. It's cold enough it freezes the lake that's outside. That's pretty amazing. That is that is absolutely awesome. And so, I think I could actually drop the temperature uh, just a little bit more. Not, not a lot, but a little bit more. I only have one hydro regulator, the one in the center. I could put in a second one and pipe water to it as well. It would drop the temperature another mm, 10 degrees maybe. Wow. But I don't need to. 
Uh, it's perfectly well, fine. We do need to right um, go from wintry to uh, what is it that we need? We need the glacial ones, I believe. Yeah, the icy shards. We need the glacial princesses, which is icy and wintry. You have wintry, and icy is industrious and wintry. So yes, I've tried numerous times, and uh, it it does not succeed. Uh, it needs to be a wintry queen and an industrious drone, and every single time I end up with my queen turning into an industrious queen. I have tried it and tried it and tried it. Uh, so far, no success. I'll continue, but uh, no luck so far. I see. Is it? Oh, so yeah, you need an industrious queen princess and wintry drone. Look from what this thing says. And it's 12% I'll chance. Check it. I'll check it again. There, there are two different ones that will do the shards, two different ways to go. Um, and it's possible that uh, the, uh, the, they the, run the other direction. But in any case, I haven't managed to get it yet. But if I do and we need to try and drop the temperatures even further, I'll add in one or maybe even two more high grow regulators and see if we can't uh, see if we can't drop that temperature. The other thing is I, I could put in uh, some additional fans uh, on this other side, make run into the line of fans. Fans help to lower the temperature as well. So um, we'll see. But okay. I'm playing with uh, with how many different pieces I can <laughs> I can put in here to change conditions. So it's a little okay. bit a uh, little bit of a crapshoot. But uh, the greenhouse, I've managed to get it uh, hot and moist, which is what the marshy bees want. Um, that's the only thing I've been able to do with the greenhouse is to get it hot and moist. I, I can't, I can't make it dry. I can't dry it out at all. Uh, I, I got it humid in there and now I can't make it stop being humid. Uh, so, um, I'm just using it for marshy bees, but, uh, unless I have other things that need those conditions, uh, I, I don't see a reason to put any more of these greenhouses in. Yeah. Uh, if, if I had some of the other mods that are not included in this pack, I think I could do some things because there are additional blocks added by the more bees and the magic bees. They add some extra blocks oh, yeah, definitely. that aren't available to me. I could also do some extra things with the alpiaries, uh, start force breeding uh, or force mutating bees, um, uh, adding in uh, specific traits. I could uh, distill bee DNA and basically make Franken bees. Oh, um, with gendistry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with the gendistry stuff. But that's not included in this pack. So none of those fun little toys are available. So but the, this, this is, one... This is actually really cool. Uh, you, you've <clears> definitely <throat> done some things. And I'm sure everybody's noticed that there's no solar panels anymore. Yeah, we moved to solar. Yeah, that's that's another big thing we did. So Yeah. So a lot of housekeeping stuff, trying to get things in shape for what we're supposed to be doing in this episode. Yeah, and we, and we will. It's, it's not going to be a very long build, but yeah. also there's a bunch of stuff missing out of here because I actually went ahead and hooked up our uh, atomic reconstructor on an automated thing to automate the crystals. And actually, if we go over here and I clicked it right. Yay. We have all three of these, the Palis, the Redstonia, and Diamantine, all automated on empowering. I just have a Very couple nice. a couple more to do, and this whole system will be completely automated, and it's going to be wonderful. It took me forever to get this thing to work, though, because for some reason, that interface does not want to function with this uh, dropper, yet I'm pretty sure that... Uh, this dropper and this interface were working fine. I'm wondering if the interface has to literally be on top of the dropper. It's possible that's the answer. Some of them are sided like that, and they can only work correctly in a certain orientation. I don't know if that's one of them, but um, it is possible. I know there's a lot of stuff in here, and we'll, it'll take forever for us to get it, but I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go up and request a um, one of those dusts. What is it? The coal dust? Uh, no. no. That, that is no, one. That's coke dust. That's coke dust. In that. So if you, can you tell me if anything drops out of that dropper? 
and I just requested it. Uh, the one above the crusher? Yeah. Were you looking at it at the time? I'm not seeing anything dropping. And I'll request it again if you're now staring at it. I'm standing here looking at it. Not seeing anything. That's weird. Because we tested it and it worked. Let me get a different position. Request it again. You should see it fall out of the bottom no, of that no, dropper. There's, no, there's there's nothing. Yeah, I got around to where I'm actually looking right at. The, there it is. Oh, okay. We just, yeah, we just had something drop. Okay. So. Okay. That'll eventually process because everything in front of it has to process first. All the God knows how many things. <laughs> 400,000. Yeah, what else did we... Um, there, was, there was a lot of cabling on this one... Our, our maintenance floor that we just fixed. Yeah, we, there we, was. We, we we spent a lot we took of time a bunch here. Of stuff out. It was a lot of it was, well, because the thing grew organically. We we put something in, then we add something else, then we tap into a system and and uh, configure to a line, and um, so things ended up crisscrossing and sort of tangling around and over and under each other. And we had a little time, we were working on some projects, and I said, hey, why don't we just try and clean some of this stuff up while we're at it? And so we did, and it looks a lot better. Yeah. Uh, some of it is hard to, hard to see the improvement, but the fact that uh, we can walk through here and pretty much trace out any line that we need to um, within just a couple of minutes is really nice. It didn't used to be that way. <laughs> yeah. And it's, so. it's, it's definitely a lot better and my frame rates have been better i mean it's functioning nicely um and and phantom made, made me a present it's this guy right here and then we've got him a biometric card so he can use everything and he's got all the permissions and we can go anywhere within 80 blocks and be able to function so we don't have to keep coming back and after this build that we're about to start um uh, in between episodes, we are going to go to the end, and we are going to get us an Elytra. And we are going to get jetpacks made next episode, because this whole thing, yeah, the bouncing around, it's nice. The gliding, it's cool. But, eh, I need something a little bit more versatile now. So, yeah, I want to fly. And we're, and I'm, uh, we're also going to get everything together to be able to um, teleport as well. We're going to get little personal teleporters, um, which will get everything together um, between this episode and next. Probably build the teleporter system, then take a break, go look for the elytra, find it, come back... <laughs> Then build a jetpack, so might have a little bit of time to do some things. So, but I need to get rid of my death point, and we need to get started on this build before we yes. uh, run out of time. So, in this chest, we have a bunch of cool gadgets. The reason we went ahead and just kind of built this stuff is it's relatively simple. You guys were here for the electric crucible, which was a bucket, couple of mica, some silver, and the stabilized ender pearl. Which is Ender Pearls around an end diamond, end diamond, atomic calculator. We've been through all this stuff. Every single one of these other things, the solidifier, exactly the same except a snowball. The centrifuge, which we need, exactly the same except a stealing it. So, yeah. We went ahead and built it, and we went ahead and... Uh, Phantom went ahead and got all the upgrades that we're going to need for them, uh, which is just simple, simple, very simple stuff. I mean, this stuff, I was looking at this, I'm like, it's that freaking easy. The nice thing in this, uh, in this particular pack, this is all Neotech stuff. The nice thing for these is every single level is, they're not identical. In some cases, they are identical with just use the previous level and make it again but in every single one it, it's it essentially the same thing uh, and some of them it literally is the same thing um, 
but the recipes are almost identical from level to level to level. It just uses the previous level in that recipe and then upgrades. So it made it very easy to make a batch of level one and then upgrade to level two, upgrade to level three, upgrade to level four, done. It really would have been boring to you know, show you on camera because you can look at the recipe and go, oh yes, I see how easy that is. So we went ahead and made them all and uh, we're ready ready to go ahead and start putting them in. Uh, you can see that uh, Shade is removing some of our uh, our sag mills and uh, alloy smelters that we had here. We're going to be replacing uh, most of that system with what's in this chest. Some of that will stay because a few, a uh, few things that we process need to be done that way. They won't work in these machines, but most of the stuff we're doing on a regular basis will work in these machines and we can triple the ores instead of just doubling them. So that's nice. And we already and did for some the other testing. Things, we're going to put some, we're going to put some other machines in a few different places to handle the rest of it. So, yeah, we already did some testing and, uh, these six of the gold, silver, lead, iron, <laughs> copper, and tin are the only things that go into this. And the only things that will be tripled. All the other stuff, we will probably be doing something different. Um, probably not the crusher. Because uh, <laughs> reasons. So we've got these three guys. And I'm going to go ahead and hook up some power to these just so that we can... Um, demonstrate this here real quick um yeah let's go let's just do this real quick and we have the crucible let's go ahead and throw the iron in there oh wait this one still has a upgrade in it whoops i'm gonna take another iron and throw that in there without the processor um i'm not even sure if it's moving it's supposedly moving so yeah, we're throwing upgrades in these. So that's going to, wow, that is really fast. But at a cost of a lot of RF. That's okay. We can handle it. Wow, that's a lot. And now we have the centrifuge, which doesn't have anything in it. So we're going to get the network card. And open the electric crucible. Put the network card in. And now we're going to say... Uh, no, no, no. Um, yeah. Out that side. And it's dumping into the centrifuge, and he already put the octodick in there. Oh, is this creating lava? Oh. Well, that's, that's special. I have a use for lava. <laughs> Yeah, um, let me grab another network card here real quick. Um, you want to go make a uh, ender tank? Or wait, you should already have an ender tank. I believe I have an ender tank. Actually, I have two ender tanks. Uh, why don't you go ahead and put one of them on top of this? And I'm going to configure this side to be... Um, Oh, 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 hang on. I'm trying to do the one side only thing there. There it is. And then we want the top. No, not that side. Turn that off. There we go. We are going to turn lava into that one. So all the lava is going to be going up into that tank. You may have to make a third one, just letting you know. That's very nice. Uh, that's, that's convenient, that's for sure. <clears throat> um, oh, I messed it up. Darn it. Okay. Hang on. That side. And that. There we go. So this one has already made the... he already put the octodick in there. Already made blocks of iron. Oh, wow! You've got it set to blocks? I, I, didn't, cha I didn't do anything. That's just how it came. Uh, should we do blocks? Blocks might, probably might actually be faster. 
I don't know. We'll try. We'll, we'll switch it to ingots and see what happens. All right. So now let's let's um, it blocks ingots or nuggets. Yeah. Uh, we'll keep it on that. Let's try to send some other. That's one stack of iron ore, and we're sending it through right now, and it's processing all the way down. I want to see how many. It's supposed to be tripling it. It's supposed to be. So we're going to see what happens when all of this is done with this one stack. And then we'll hook up everything and watch this bad boy run. And we also know that while there's some like dirty molten iron in here, it will not accept any of these other ore. Well, it'll put it in there, but it won't process it, so it won't mix anything. So that's a cool thing. Oh, wow. Look at all that. Why is the solidifier? Oh, it's not running because there's one stack of iron ingots. Wow, that's this is this is amazing. The only problem is all these are going to be using like a thousand RF a tick, but luckily our uh, new reactor does like almost ten thousand RF a tick, so we're okay. Okay, so there's two stacks of iron, and the crucible is now done, so, and the electric centrifuge is now done, and this is just processing the last bit. Wow, that is fast. Power supply. I don't think the last one needs a network card. Um, memory. I want to see what the memory does, definitely. All right, so this electric crucible, we're going to throw in... A power supply. Wow. Holy crap. It just went from 10,000 RF to 3.2 million it holds. <laughs> oh, oh, my word. Okay, yeah, power supply is worth it. Memory module. Not sure what that's going to do. Let's see what it says it's going to do. Processor speeded up. Memory allows the machine to do multiple operations at once. Really? Um, Maybe we can do multiple ores maybe i don't know i don't know how they would do it simultaneously but that's an interesting idea so let's grab some more iron and let's grab some silver since that's the majority of what we have in here did you grab the gold out of there i did it's not quite a full stack though all right so whoa That's nuts on how fast that went. Silver's in. Oh, yeah, there's our third stack. I didn't actually uh, watch all that, but... Yeah, we're getting a lot of stuff in. All right, so now we want it to go blue. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and hook this up so that it can actually start doing its thing. Now that we got power. Okay, so that's... Okay, the middle one does not need the item conduit even connected. The first one is going to be insert only on... Mm, let's say purple. No, I want a better color than that. Where's regular green? Yeah, we'll just do green. And then this one's going to be extracting on blue. Always active. And it's pulling it out and putting it in the system. That's awesome. That is absolutely outstanding. And now it's starting to process the silver that I put through it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and extract this guy on green. And what's in there right now? Nothing? Always active. And now it's starting to process the silver. Awesome. Oh, you pulled out the gold. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, I still have it. <laughs> Darn it. There. Gold's in there. Haha. -ha. I win. 
Wow. Yeah, look at this. Crank this stuff out. Wow, this is going to be done in no time. Look at all the lava you've got. Yeah, I need to go uh, yeah, what, put, my, yeah. <clears throat> put my other uh, ender tank down and, and start piping out of it. Start receiving lava. Yeah. Yeah, because this internal buffer, once it gets full, this is going to stop the whole whole process. So. I'm half tempted to go ahead and switch this to blocks because it's probably going to actually process better. Like, more at a time. So it'll get through it. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. That's full. It's The centrifuge is not processing, processing the uh, silver that's in here. I'm guessing it's because of the lava? Uh, quite possibly. Um, do you need... Do you have the tank put down already out here? I uh, will in a moment. It just, uh, you'll have to hang it down a bit, though. That's a hydroregulator. That's the heater. Are you pumping it straight into the heater? Is that uh, how this works? Into the, hy uh, the hydroregulator. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, so this is going to be insert. And uh, down is going to be extract, always active. And there we go. And now it's using lava. Too humid. It won't be very shortly. Temperature goes up, humidity goes down with the lava. So it'll take it a few minutes, but it will sort itself out. And then they will become happy bees. Yep. I just hope that's going to be using enough. If not, I have another option that might help. Well, it did drop it, but it's still not processing processing this uh, dirty. Why is it not processing? What the heck? Network card. What on earth is going on? Why is it not doing anything? <clears throat> it was functioning a minute ago. It's low enough to where it should be doing something. Did we just burn through all of our power? No. Well, they have internal buffers that should take care of that for them. It's not... Hmm. That's really odd. We'll, uh, we'll troubleshoot this and sort it out, and we'll be back in a minute. Yep. All right, we're back, and we've got it mostly figured out. Um, it's it's having issues. It, it's, it's very, very, very retarded. We're basically voiding <laughs> lava at this point. Um, we're going to make a third. Uh, uh, we're actually probably going to take this lava tank to the nether to get the lava that we need for other things, so, yeah, that's just, there you go, um, that's just odd, well, it's mostly working now, it's just every so often it kind of stutters when it doesn't know what to do with itself. Yeah, but it recovers, which is the important part. Yeah. One of the things we noticed was if the internal 
tank for lava ever reaches full, the machine stops functioning until that tank is completely drained. And that caused some of the trouble that we were having. There were also some issues with configuration and network cards and whether or not to uh, use conduits. But uh, for the moment, it is functioning. We have a void, uh, uh, fluid trash can voiding the lava. So that's keeping it operational. So we can continue on with uh, what we had scheduled and uh, sort out the peculiarities later. Yeah, that was, that's just whatever. By the way, the reason I have these two elite tanks in my inventory is because we had to shut shut off our uh, liquid reactor because we ran out of distilled water and I was an idiot and haven't put in the automatic distilled water yet and yeah, things blew up and killed me. Yep. So, yeah, we'll get that fixed later. All right, so we need to, you know what, I'm going to leave those lines there. Oh, I need to empty some more stuff out of here. I'm just dumping stuff into this box. Just to clean up my inventory. I need my 3x3. Three three. Thank you. Because... This area is going to be used for something. We are really antsy about getting to the next age. So, we're going to have a crucible, and we're going to have a solidifier. And we're going to set this guy up uh, here and here. And, well, Pops, Phantom, gets that set up. Ah, why am I going all the way over here to create stuff? I have something in my inventory to create stuff. Don't really know how to answer that question for you. Yeah. Um, we need an export bus? No. We want an interface. We want an interface, like so, and a crafting card, like so, and let's see here. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to grab some steel. Oh, that's dark steel. I don't want dark steel. I just want steel, which we have 22,000 of. And one steel, I hope, will work in this manner. Um, I'm going to need item conduits. Do you have all the upgrades installed? I do. Awesome. All right. um, no, I don't I need item conduits. Because I'm going to be interfacing this. But I do need this and this. Oh, I will need item conduits because I'm going to be retrieving from... Yeah, I can retrieve from the back. From the back. And I will put the interface... Probably just plop it right on top, right? That should work unless it is finicky about receiving instructions, but... Well, one ingot of molten steel and we are going to be pushing this into the solidifier right there and it needs to be an ingot form and we now have refined iron ingots oh this is going to be nice all right so why not just do a stack yes That's pretty nice. Oh, this is going to be nice. This is going to be nice. I didn't need nine. I needed eight. You ready for it? 
Sure. Bing! <laughs> Age 10. Huzzah! Surprise! Dun, 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 dun. You know what? Maybe we should, like, tear down our trophy room and put our trophies on the, or, or, or next to the items that helped us get to whatever age it was. <laughs> I'm, I kind of uh, want to just leave that one sitting there. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Maybe for a little while. I should go in the trophy room eventually, though. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to go along here <clears throat> and run my... ME conduits kind of around here since they won't connect to anything else and I'm going to run them up why did I leave the 3x3 on there because I'm brilliant could have been worse could have been a 5x5 five five. yeah 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 just saying and then I'm going to connect that there. And that should activate, because if I'm correct, this line still has channels to spare. Eventually I'll change that to a P2P, but the moment I believe it actually activated. Hey, you know what's interesting? If we have this side outputting in ingot form, we could put its ingots directly into this side. We'd want to have a switch of some kind, but yeah, we, you know. Well, I've already got it laid out to where it's pulling out it of happen. these things. It's fine either way. Yeah. It's fine. All right, so now I'm going to go tell the system that one steel ingot equals one refined iron ingot and tell it and teach it to the system and all that stuff. As a little refresher, I'm going to go ahead and do it on camera. Yeah, we're running long on this, but whatever. Uh, that, and I need steel one to one done and whoa and put this guy in there so now it's encoded and now I'm going to teach the system how to make uh, let's see your crafting clear that uh, crap Iron, refined ironing, it's eight of them equals machine block. Go, put that machine block away, and come over to where I've been throwing stuff in, and we now have automated machine blocks. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. We are going to get everything together and more automation done uh, next, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, next episode, you'll probably uh, see us show off some alloys because we're still trying to play catch up on automating everything we've done up to this point. Um, not this point in the ground. That's just yet yeah, from, from this point A to point B. Well, we're more like on W, but anything, anything before this point that we've done, I'm trying to get automated and that's why we're doing a lot in between so thank you all for watching um thank you for joining me phantom you are welcome always a pleasure yeah this is this has been a very productive episode i think we finally so. tri tripling ores and advancing the age freaking amazing that's planning for you so <laughs> thanks for joining us and we'll see you on the flip side. Later.